And since WYNX implemented its minority hiring program in 1995, we've seen a steady rise in our audience and sales. And an increase in our marketplace value. Not to mention the value of those luscious legs. <laughs> Ooh, girl, they're so fine, they make me jealous of your pantyhose. <laughs> Flex. Now, we have two days to prepare for the Eastern Broadcasters Conference. Now, if we nail this, it will open the door for extra funding. So keep your eyes off the prize. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne, has my pillow wronged you in some way? <laughs> no, I'm, you know, I'm just, just fluffing it for you, dog. And then the fluff, <laughs> fluff, fluff. Yeah, now what was that? Uh, Y'all excuse me while I check on Brianna and my supply of almond massage oil. You're not allergic to nuts, are you, girl? That's it. Either you're gonna have to ugly yourself up or I'm gonna gouge his eyes out. You have to tell him about us. Look, Dwayne, flirting is part of our professional relationship. He flirts, I resist. Don't worry. My heart belongs to you, Cookie Toes. Oh. <laughs> Let me give you a pop of some sugar. <laughs> oh, well, well. Come out for a butter knife and get a little taste of the Spice Channel. <laughs> Brianna, you promise not to tell your father. Oh, don't worry. My lips will remain sealed. Oh, and by the way, there's a little Bow Wow concert next month, and Front Row Center will be divine. <laughs> you an evil little girl. Oh, I get my license next year. You ain't seen nothing yet, car man. Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner when I can't trust no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. for the weekend while I'm up at the broadcasters conference. Come on, Daddy, I'm 15. If we were in Katmandu, I would have a husband and five kids by now. <laughs> Brianna, the rules, quickly. Home by eight, doors bolted, windows locked, no boys, parties, or any type of social gatherings. And what's the most important rule? No, no getting, getting pregnant. pregnant. Right. <laughs> Dad will be as saintly as heathens come the apocalypse. I told you going to Sunday school would pay off. <laughs> You know the thing about heathens is? They always lie. <laughs> Party! Wait. Wait. What is all this? <laughs> Aloha, my little mahi, mahi. <laughs> Crazy, baby. That is so sweet of you. Well, <laughs> remember how a couple months ago we talked about flying to Hawaii? And then you reminded me of that violent reaction you have to sunlight? What's, what's that called again? Chronic polymorphic light dermatosis. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> At first I thought you were lying. But then I remembered, we've never been out together in the daylight. So, <laughs> we're going native, right here under the safe, soothing rays of my fluorescent lights. <laughs> with that man. He's like the sex terminator. <laughs> oh, Dwayne, you dog. <laughs> did, did you hook up with the Samoan girl with the prosthetic leg? Uh, uh, yeah, she's uh, in the bathroom right now making sure her, uh, her knees line up. <laughs> All right, cool. I just came to get my suitcase you borrowed and I would get out of your little Polynesian pickup joint. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it was... Uh, Everything's set to knock their socks off at the conference? Oh, I'm all set to knock off something, man. Ever since me and Stacy been working together on this thing, I'm telling you, dog, we've been clicking like your mama's false teeth. <laughs> I don't know about this, Flex. I mean, office romances are always bad news. You know what they say, never fish off the company pier. <laughs> Dwayne, we are two professionals who respect each other's intelligence and 
nakedness. <laughs> No, I'm counting the minutes until you get back from your grandma's, Natasha. No, I miss you more. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Are you as disgusted as I am? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right, now let's go over this one more time. All right, it's a knock at the door. Homeless man with an axe standing there naked. What do you do? Give him a sandwich and a blanket. That's right, because the only thing he's trying to kill is his hunger pain. <laughs> now, there's a guy with a bat and a shank at the fire escape. Start running, but if he catches up, trip spirit. <laughs> That's my girl. And he needs to get out of here, because I don't trust him. I take that back. He's no longer a threat. Bye, Mr. Washington. All right, bye, bye. Love you. Bye. OK, you got the guest list, I got the refreshments, and now all we need is music. Girl, your love is a gas thing that ignites the pistons of my soul. Get off the phone! <laughs> yes, them. The haters. <laughs> your boopy whoopy loves you too, Spooky Woogie. It's like he's possessed. How long is this little crush on Natasha gonna last? Girl, you know our ass falls quickly. He fell for you at first sight. Well, that's me. I got that kind of power. So what, you can't come to the party? Your little brother has a recital. Oh, well, I don't have to go to the party. I'm sure she can find another DJ. What? Girl, watch me use my power. Um, Arnez, sweetie, I need to talk to you about being the DJ at my party. Uh, Brianna, I'm not finished yet. Peace out, Spooky Woogie. <laughs> now, you're finished. What's her problem? Power failure. <laughs> Ooh, Flex, we kicked butt. Yes. <laughs> and when you told those station managers to step foot into the 21st century, I was at the mountaintop. <laughs> yeah, well, when you told them to take those steps with some brown feet besides them, you had them speaking in tongues. Oh, man. <laughs> Look, the point is, you really came through for the station, Flex. We are bound to get that funding now. Ooh, that would be the bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, champagne and chocolate-covered strawberries. Looks like you're bringing out the big guns. Oh, uh, you'll know when I bring out the big guns. <laughs> <laughs> In 10 minutes, we're gonna have a stream of hotties up in here. And everybody's gonna want an audience with the girl who made the cocktail weenies. Go ahead. <laughs> OK, uh, somebody's here early, weenie girl. Ooh, no, never mind. Just a jumbo shrimp. <laughs> Uh, Dwayne, what are you doing here? Uh, your what? dad asked me to stop by and check in on you and your adolescent shenanigans. But we're not doing anything. Oh, is that so? No. Oh, I see some sodas. Oh, I see some napkins. I see some pumpkin seeds. Either you're planning a party or an AA meeting. <laughs> Dwayne, please don't ruin this for me. I'm not gonna ruin anything for you. I'm just gonna sit here, uh, kick off my shoes, sit back, and soak in the festivities. <laughs> You know, Dwayne, only a trusting man could leave my daddy alone with Stacy in a romantic hotel for a whole long, long moonlit night. A long, sultry, beckoning night. <laughs> now, I know what you're doing, not gonna work. Nothing would make me ignore my godfatherly duties. I trust Stacy. Okay. <laughs> Why, right, y'all hear something? No, in fact, my daddy's been so busy, he hasn't even checked in with me yet. And the only time my daddy doesn't check in with me is when he's... Ooh. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Nothing's gonna happen. Stacy promised me nothing would. I don't know. I saw him packing two bottles of his good cologne. The Burberry. Not the Burberry. <laughs> what time is it, Spirit? Time to get our party out. music right now. Louis, what are you doing here? I don't remember inviting you. Oh, you did? Dutch told me to come. You know Dutch, right? The guy that knocked me out last week. Lost the two. Wanna see? <laughs> Weenie. Oh, you know Weenie's on amalgamation of pork products with a hint of rat hair? <laughs> oh, Arnez, I am so glad you're here. 
Oh, so are we. We? Yeah. Hey, everybody! Oh, uh, what happened to little Bobby's recital? Oh, who cares? He's only a half-brother. <laughs> he can't soothe my soul like my man. I'm here for him all evening. Oh. Come on, the lady knows what she wants. Come on. <laughs> She's a maniac, maniac on the floor. And she's dancing like she's never danced before. Ah! Wet me, Flex! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, Lex, I can't. Oh, what's wrong? We're having fun. The mood is right. I like you. We both like me. <laughs> okay, Flex, look, I'm seeing somebody, all right? Technically, I'm seeing somebody. And right now, I'm seeing them tied up and being tickled with a feather. <laughs> I'm, s I'm serious, Flex, and he happens to be a very sweet and loving man. Okay. We've had Christmas parties, office picnics, and an annual bull roast. And I haven't met this guy. Why are you hiding him? Is he wanted by the law? <laughs> is he a victim of a chemical accident? <laughs> or is he just a loser? He's an international businessman. Oh, really? Business, huh? What kind? Quickly. Uh, uh, import, uh, export, textiles, commodities, pork bellies, onshore drilling, offshore drilling, horse whisperer. <laughs> Okay, so he doesn't have a great job like you or I do. So he makes 10 cents more than minimum wage. In the Philippines. I understand. He's a super loser! Okay, Kiana, I just finished making sure everybody has punch. Now I'm gonna keep on ass company. Wait, 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 girl. Um, can, can you do me another favor? Can you take all the red dots out of the olives? They can be a little disturbing, girl, you know. <laughs> Can't you get somebody else to do that? I haven't spent any time with Arnaz. Uh, but, but girl, no one's as good as you. So, get to pitting. <laughs> Thank you, Natasha. Thank you, girl. Go on, girl. Girl, you working hard like an overseer come arts. <laughs> I have to. As long as she has Arnaz wrapped around her little finger, he is of no use to me, and I will not be ignored, okay? <laughs> Wouldn't it be a whole lot easier if you just tell Arnaz that you have feelings for him? Okay, um, are you eating those weenies or smoking them? <laughs> I don't have any feelings for Arnaz. All right, thanks, man. Keep this. All right, no hint of Burberry. <laughs> Dwayne Odell Knox, what are you doing? She said you're special and she would never cheat on you. Flex Washington, you the man. <laughs> I, well, I'm just trying to help out a damsel in distress. Oh. <laughs> well, if you were just trying to help, why is you taking me back down to the bar so we can have the second bottle of champagne, huh? Because <laughs> you know it makes me randy. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I was hoping that it would make you naked. <laughs> oh, Flex, you dirty, dirty boy. Let me just spank your booty. <laughs> well, who made this bed? It's really hard. <laughs> On the floor? Oh, she's a hussy. I should kill them both. No, no. Who said that? Uh, it can't be comfortable. Uh, let me get you in the bed. Yeah, just take me to bed, big boy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, too bad for you. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, where are we going? Come on. Oh, oh. oh give me strength. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. oh hey, Flex, we got an answer in my purse. <laughs> Okay. Hello? Tell him to put you down right now. Oh my God. He's in my head. Who is that? Is that your super loser? Man, take your hands off my woman. Dwayne? Yeah. Your super loser. Oh, oh, wait a minute. You? And you? Well, yeah. Stacy and I have been seeing each other ever since that big storm last Christmas. Remember when we, uh... Helped out at the station? <laughs> We're in love. Go on, tell him, Cornbread. 
<laughs> Tell him about our little Hawaiian adventure. So? All right. <laughs> you can't, can you? My mom was right. You are ashamed of me. Arnez? Uh, Louis, did you see where Arnez went? I think he and Natasha just ducked into your bedroom. Wow. Rihanna's bedroom. This is cool. Never been allowed in here before. <laughs> yes. Alone. By ourselves. The two of us. Hey. She kept that piece of origami I gave her. She called it origagmi. <laughs> Couldn't find him. He must have taken off. You know, this is all your fault. I never thought that a woman would come between me and Dwayne. Don't blame me, Flex. You're the one that called him a super loser. Oh, no, you take that back, all right? My friend Dwayne is not a super loser. You don't know anything about him. Oh, I know a lot about him. I know that he's... Nothing. <laughs> because if you did, you never would have been ashamed of him. And you know why? Because he knows how to be a real friend. When I was away at college and Nicole was pregnant, he checked on her every single day. And when I was in the NBA on the road, he would put on stilts and stand around Brianna's crib just so she could see a tall person and think daddy was home. <laughs> put it simply, I love that man. And you don't deserve it. Man, I heard every word, dog. I love you, too. Come here. Hey, that Burberry is kind of nice. Man, I never would have gone after your girl if I'd have known it was your girl. I know, man. And I never would have called you loser if I'd known you were the loser in question. <laughs> but why did you guys keep this a secret? Flex, if I'd have told you that I was in love with Dwayne, what would you have done? <laughs> There you see? But then I would have told you, you couldn't have picked a better guy than my best friend, my dog. Thanks, man. <laughs> that Burberry is nice. <laughs> <laughs> if you two will excuse me, I think I saw two flight attendants at the bar, and they look like they might want to fly air flex. <laughs> I'm sorry, and if you take me back, you'll never regret it. I don't, I don't know cornbread, I mean, you hurt me. You hurt me deep. <laughs> man, Dwayne, I'm all messed up. I've been chasing a good career instead of a good man. I only hope I haven't lost a good one in you. I love you, cookie toes. <laughs> And I'm ready to tell the world. That's not good enough. Sugar nose? OK. <laughs> Ooh, what are they doing in there? What, what, what? The only way to find out is to open the door and go in. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Now move out the way so I can open the door and go in. <laughs> what was that? Brianna, there's something wrong with the window in your dad's room. And I think somebody might have just lost a big toe. Whoa, what are people doing in my daddy's room? Come on. I'm sorry, Natasha. Don't you mean Brianna? <laughs> hey, where's Brianna? I have to tell her I'm leaving. She's in Flex's bedroom with Lewis. Lewis? Natasha! Natasha, wait! Terry! Terry! 
What happened? My bedroom door is open. Where's Natasha and Arnaz? Girl, they did what they had to do and they just left. looks nice. You vacuumed, you mopped, you dusted. Is that pine I smell? Yeah, well, I know you like a clean house. Oh. <laughs> You're punished. Why? <laughs> no teenager uses pine saw unless they're trying to hide something. You, you can tell all that from pine saw? Uh, that and Dwayne told me. <laughs> Love you too, Netta. <laughs>